carbon dioxide levels will soar past the 410 parts per million milestone in 2019. This is by Michael LePage on New Scientist. The increase in frequency of wildfires, let alone volcanic ash, might be a consequence of global warming. Michael LePage writes, we will pass yet another unwelcome milestone this year. The average concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is likely to rise by 2.8 parts per million by 2.8 parts per million to 411 parts per million in 2019, passing 411 parts per million just a few years after first passing 400 parts per million mark. That's the forecast of Richard Betts of the Met Office Hadley Center in the UK who began making annual CO2 forecasts just a few years ago to test our understanding of the factors involved. The Met Office began publicly releasing the forecasts last year. The rise in atmospheric CO2 is the main cause of global heating. Before the industrial age began, the CO2 concentration was around 280 parts per million and had not risen much higher for hundreds of thousands of years. And now it's rising even faster because human emissions of the gas continue to increase. The average annual increase has risen from less than one part per million a year to the 19, in the 1950s when measurements began to well over two parts per million today. So there's a clear trend. While the long-term trend is remorselessly clear, the annual rise varies greatly from year to year depending on how the weather affects the balance between plants taking up CO2 as they grow and releasing it as they decay or burn. During El Nino years, for instance, there can be extensive droughts and wildfires leading up to big jumps in CO2 levels. The biggest ever annual rise of 3.4 parts per million occurred in 2016 during a strong El Nino. The forecast rise of 2.8 would also be one of the largest rises on record. CO2 concentrations at any one place also vary over the year, peaking at the end of the winter and falling as plants grow in the summer. Bed's forecast is for the monthly average at Mauna Loa in Hawaii to peak at 415 parts per million and drop back to 408 parts per million between May and September before rising even higher in 2020. Last year, Betts forecasted an annual rise of 2.3 parts per million, plus or minus 0.6 parts per million, and, and the observed rise was 2 parts per million. So the observed rise was within the forecast range, but slightly lower than the central estimate, he said. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.